with it too, man. This dude right, right here in Long View, Long in Oklahoma, America. Chilling with the homie Goldie, with the homie LaFleur. We just we right. doing what we do. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Now you introduce yourself to the world and whatnot. Uh, can break it down to him and let him know, you know what I'm saying, what you got going on out here. I mean, right now, man, you know, we just, uh, you know, we trying to get this music jumping, man. We are uh, trying to create this this little L-Town movement right now. It's, um, you know, I, I, I'm i under the fold and under the label. Me and my partner, we got the label, the um, Black Black Rain Cash Gang Records, you know what I'm saying? And so we, we out here trying to push this because we got some real shit, you know what I'm saying? Some niggas we can really spit and who really... You know, you know, can do that shit, and so we just trying to bring, you know, our sound to the world, you know, our story and our voice. You know, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't meant much difference. I mean, you know, it's a lot of the same shit going on everywhere right now. But um, we just want y'all to hear our version of it. You okay. Is there uh, any particular artist that you're dealing with as far as that y'all have on y'all label, or you know, just like as far as you pushing yourself as an artist as well? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, said. Uh, you know, um, me myself, I'm an artist. You know, uh, like I said, my, I go by the name of Do Right, but the first artist that we probably gonna be releasing is, um, you know, uh, the homie Butterball. You know what I'm saying? He already, he got stuff in stores right now. You know what I'm saying? We got the um, Can't Say Like Eddie Kane mixtape. We got the, uh, we got the, uh, the David Ruffin getting ready to drop. So you know, we right now everything is about butter. The world is Butterball. I mean, we're trying to get him out there. You know what I'm saying? And, and get him heard because I mean, he really got some. You know, some things that the world needs to hear. Um, you know, but other than that, I mean, we working with everybody, man. You know what I'm saying? We, you know, we working with the homie Goldie. We working with, you know what I'm saying? Everybody in the town, man, that's, you know, that's serious and that's trying to do their thing, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and I can't name them all. I mean, it's, it's several. And, and all y'all the homies, y'all know who y'all is. You know what I'm saying? The world gonna know y'all in a minute. So don't be offended if I don't say your name right now in the interview. You niggas know what it is. But anyway, though, um, you know, we... You know, right now everything is butterball, you know what I'm saying? But we we on some on some L Town movement shit because there's a lot of talent here, you know what I'm saying? And we trying to come through just with a movement and display all this talent. I mean we got, you know, various forms of the art, various forms of the music, just like, you know what I'm saying, um, you know, the, the, the other historical cities in the music like Memphis and you know, New Orleans and you know, all, all them southern cities, Houston, you know what I'm saying? We we got a lot of different voices and a lot of different sound, and we want to bring it all to the world, you know what I'm saying? Because we think that, you know, it's something that the world need to hear. And, we, you know, we ain't fucking with no trash. We ain't dealing with no trash because there's a lot of shit out there that's trash right now, you know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas might not know who you is, but there's a lot of y'all that's trash, you know? But we trying to bring it back on some real shit, but at the same time entertaining, you know? Okay. As far as, like, uh um Local recognition pertaining to these clubs and the radio stations. Uh, is y'all getting love out here in the town? Yeah, we've been getting major love in the town, man. Cause you know, I mean, first of all, like, uh, you know, I'm a, uh, I'm a street nigga, so you know, I'm, but I'm not just a street nigga. I mean, I'm a respectable man in the town. Period. You know what I'm saying? On, on all levels. I mean, and, and so therefore, you know what I'm saying? The town gonna give me love, just being real. You know what I'm saying? And really, you know what I'm saying? Anything that I move with, I feel like it's gonna get love. That's how I feel. You know. But um, we uh, I mean we just you know what I'm saying we, we we get a lot of love in the town. We you know the radio stations got a jump and we doing shows. I mean um, you know we got posters and flyers out through the town through the city. You know what I'm saying we uh you know we got CDs floating out through the town through the city. We creating a slow buzz. We building a solid foundation. You know what I'm saying we ain't just you know we ain't trying to um run down and, and fuck one 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 cow. We trying to walk down and fuck them all. You feel me? Definitely, definitely. You know how like most artists nowadays, everybody said that they had uh, like a lot of people look up to as far as artists, you know, saying the game that's been out back in the day and whatnot. Do you have any particular artists that you looked up to coming up? Oh uh, yeah, most definitely. I mean, that I looked up to coming up and I still look up to to this day. I mean, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, my favorite of all time, you know what I'm saying, is pop. You know, um, you know, but right up in there in that same mix, man, I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's, Scarface, Nas, you know, Jay-Z, uh, Cube, um, man, just, I mean, a bunch of cats, man, I'm, I'm, I'm influenced and inspired by everybody that's doing their thing in the industry, even if I don't bump your music, or don't cut for your music, or don't fuck with your music, just to see that, that you've made it, 
and you brought yourself from a state of having nothing or a state of being out here in the hood like we is right now to a state of, you know what I'm saying, success, I respect them for that. And, and I try to get whatever little piece that I can from them to see how I can get to that state of success. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I mean, it, it's, it, it's so many, man. It's hard to name. I mean, it's, like I said, it's so many, homie. But, you know, all the greats, I mean, it, it's, I'm influenced by them. You know, from the, the Rock Hems, the Ron DMC, the EPMDs, the... I mean, it, you know, everybody. And um, the UGKs, I mean, you, it's so many, man. It's so much uh, good quality, legendary music that then came out over the years, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's hard to sing, if I try to sing them all out right now, to take four or five interviews, you know what I'm saying? But I just say that I'm influenced and inspired by, you know what I'm saying, pretty much everybody who's, you know, making an effort to do their thing in this shit. And that's not hate, you know, you feel me? Okay, with that being said, how do you feel about the state of music out here in Lawton, Oklahoma? I think right now the state of music, man, is, is, is at an all-time high as far as quality and as far as the, the the quality of music, the quality of material that's being put out, you know what I'm saying, Cats is, Cats is spitting in the town, man, there's some heat in the town for real, I mean, I mean some heat for real, for real, and I mean, on that level, it's, you know, it's at an all-time high and, and, and you know, it's, it's got room to grow still, but the problem is like, you know what I'm saying, in the town, we we haven't really completely built the unified front to where see in the town, the town our market is so small, man, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody gonna blow up out of here without us being united, you know what I'm saying, and pushing each other. And right now that's what we lacking at in the town, the business sense of, you know what I'm saying? Cats gotta get their business up, their game up, their marketing, you know what I'm saying? Just knowing how to eat on this shit, you know what I'm saying? That's that's what's lacking. But as far as the quality of music, man, it's it's at an all time high. And that's why, like I say, we on a push, man, for this movement to bring it to the world. Cause you know what I'm saying? We know we got something that um that cats need to hear, you feel me? Okay. With uh here, here's a pretty interesting question right here. With uh with Lawton being at the state it is right now, as far as like how crazy things is out here in the street, yeah. do you think that that really separates, as you said earlier, a, a real street nigga, you know what I'm saying, somebody yeah. who really out here, yeah. you know what I'm saying, versus a lot of those dudes who just go in the booth and rap when stuff start getting real and you know yeah. the police and the yellow tape and all that stuff yeah. start coming about, you know what I'm saying, do you think that really helps curb the people as far as like coming out and participating in the, you know what I'm saying, the, uh, the shows or, you know what I'm yeah, saying, like more, certain rappers who, who who might who might have skills, but they more or less afraid of, of yeah, being it, around it, that, it, the people who cut like that, you know? It, it, it most definitely do, man. You know what I'm saying? The, the, you know, this, this shit, you know what I'm saying, like this music, man, on this level, right now in this day and time, the music game, the hip-hop game on this level, man, it's just like the dope game, you feel me? Like the artists, a lot of the artists they sell that you see may not be gangster, but... You know what I'm saying? Like the people behind them, somebody somebody around them is real and, and got to be able to hold themselves down because, you know what I'm saying? Cats gonna come and try you if you weak, you know what I'm saying? Cats gonna come and, you know, if you spin that shit, you know, that real shit, you know what I'm saying? And you at these shows, you know what I'm saying? And niggas don't believe you, like niggas gonna try you, feel me? So if you can't hold yourself down or protect yourself, then, you know, it's just like the D-game. You gotta get off the block, you can't eat. So, you know, it's it, it, it's hard for some cats, you know what I'm saying? Being that they not cut from that cloth, but yet they be trying to spit that shit. But look, the way to avoid that is, if you're not cut from that cloth, then don't spit that shit. Be who you are. Have your own identity, you know what I'm saying? Discover your own identity and spit that shit, you know what I'm saying? It ain't all about no, you know what I'm saying, no thug shit all the time, because really on the cool, and this is coming from a real live gangster, you know what I'm saying? That thug shit is, is, is about played out, homie. This shit is crazy out here right now, man. These little niggas and shit done lost their fucking mind. It ain't no 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 form of structure, no form of code and honor. You know what I'm saying? Niggas it, uh, shoot at you and then go call the police. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Just it's all types of whole ass cutthroat shit that's going on out here, man. That just really, you know what I'm saying, make this game not even worth it right now because see the the same money ain't in it. Like the work so fucking high. The shit's so fucking hard to get. And that shit is across the country, man. I'm everywhere. I'm in all markets and shit, you know what I'm saying? Connecting with all types of street niggas and shit is fucked up everywhere, man. So it's, you know, it, it, and that's another reason, too, though, why this shit is really needed right now, man. Because we in a state of crisis, really, you know what I'm saying? So the music is another way for niggas, you know what I'm saying, uh, to bring cats together and try to do something productive 
and move something away from this block or away from these streets and create, you know what I'm saying, opportunities of success for yourself and for other people and all that shit. But, you know, it's it need to be a message in there too, man, because, you know what I'm saying, all that bullshit that niggas be putting out there telling you about what the game is and they ain't never lived the game and glorifying this shit. This shit ain't, you know what I'm saying, that ain't what it is, man. This shit ugly than a motherfucker right now, man. It's going down in the town right now. This shit is, these streets are so fucking ugly and vicious right now, my nigga. And niggas can't really eat. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the reasons why it's so vicious because niggas can't really eat. Like, niggas don't have, money Money distracts you from drama and from bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But when you ain't got no bread and you, you know what I'm saying, wondering how you gonna pay these bills and how you gonna eat. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker ain't got nothing but some negative energy to think about. So it's, I mean, it's just, we in a, a, a change in time, man. We in a, a, a new day and a new age right now, man. And the shit is, you know, that, all that bullshit that they're talking about, about the game don't change. This shit is unchanged right now, my nigga. And I'm out here, so you know what I'm saying? I know for a fact what the business is. So, you know, it's, shit just is what it is, man. Niggas trying to come together and do something productive and positive. But not just do something productive and positive. We actually got something to bring to the world. We actually have some quality. To bring to the world we ain't just coming to get from the game we got something to bring to the game you feel me hmm. okay speaking of change it's, it, it seems that most